In this week's breakdown, I'm going to be covering a very important ligament in the cervical spine associated with neck pain, chronic neck pain, whiplash injuries, and unresolved chronic neck pain, the nuchal ligament. Well, what's up, everybody? Dr. Matt Maggio here, creator of the Peak Method and founder of the Soft Tissue Revolution, where we teach massage therapists a new treatment method that focuses on working smarter, not harder, allowing them to make well over $100,000 per year with less than 20 hours per week of time in the clinic. No gimmicks, just results. In this week's breakdown, I'm going to be focusing on a ligament specifically in the neck called the nuchal ligament. It basically goes from the top of the occiput to about C7. It's really a continuation of the entire um, ligament throughout the spine known as a supraspinous ligament, but it really helps you kind of like differentiate where it goes from there. And this nuchal ligament is so important. It's so involved in so many action, stability, function, and just movement of the cervical spine. There's a lot of muscles in there ranging from the trap to semispinalis capitis services, uh, the deeper erectors, all that stuff. There's so many muscles in there. And what they do is they anchor directly to that ligament to generate force. And this ligament really gets beat up um, in chronic neck injuries and really just sustained bad posture. You know, a lot of people looking down and what happens is that ligament gets really stretched. It doesn't get a lot of um, feedback from the nervous system. So it doesn't really hurt at first when you feel it and it doesn't get a lot of blood flow and oxygen. But as people are spending more and more time looking down at their devices in a more sedentary posture, what it does is it stretches that ligament out. And when that ligament gets stretched out, it doesn't get enough blood flow and oxygen and it actually starts to develop scar tissue. And then that scar tissue gets inside that ligament, makes it weaker, less flexible. Now that ligament can't do the job. So what happens around there is the muscles have to work harder. And when the muscles have to work harder, they actually put more force on the joint and the disc as well. So a lot of times in chronic neck injuries, a lot of tension and just overall dysfunction in the neck, the ligament gets completely missed. And a lot of people will treat the surrounding muscles. Um, some people will get surgery on a disc herniation, but they don't get to the real cause of that problem. And when that neck can't generate force, it causes a lot of problems in there and a lot of unresolved neck pain. The breakdown, I want to cover a couple of things, and these are from our training in the PEAK method uh, injury evaluation and treatment system. First, I'm going to go through a real advanced palpation of finding that ligament. It's very superficial, but there's a couple of things that I do with um, the position of the neck and how I support the client's head as well, because a lot of times when this ligament is beat up, it can create some pain for the client. Then I'm going to go through and show a very detailed um, demonstration of treatment on the nuchal ligament using what I call instrument scar tissue treatment. If I go over in these videos, you'll see me talking about the palpation and the treatment as well. And I only treat the nuchal ligament with an instrument and the instrument we use um, is set up like this. And the area where we use is actually this long flat piece in through here. And this is the best way to treat the ligament because a lot of times people use like a rounded one and it doesn't get the ligament effectively so you'll see in the treatment how we really go in there break down that scar tissue and restore range of motion so first is the palpation video then the treatment video one we talked about was the nuchal ligament so when i get in there and palpate the nuchal ligament what i do is a couple things first thing is i tuck that chin back in that first test and that glide and then i drop this down and a key component here is taking this top hand and coming over the top and supporting that. This allows me to get in here and palpate on this nuchal ligament and really feel where we're feeling some tension. It's very superficial and it really gives you good feedback by giving that push back with here. It allows those patients that have some neck degeneration or disc injuries to hold into that position. And if you find that area that's not moving how it should, get in there with any type of instrument and start to break that down. Now we're going to treat the nuchal ligament. Now with this one, the nuchal ligament we're all treated is basically from about C7 all the way up to the base of the occiput. I want this to be treated in a chair as well. It helps things relax. Now the setup has a couple components to it because we need to get these upper muscles to relax. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to tuck the client's chin back just like that. That allows that to lock in. Then we're going to drop in just like that. Once we drop in, we're gonna take 
our hand and put pressure back on the chair. So we're gonna support that a lot because that gets that to open up because we wanna effectively treat this area in here. So the key is getting that set up first. So when we set this up, it's all about gentle pressure. We're not jamming the head in there. It's very light and I'm very controlled just like that with that chin tuck first and then drop that in. And then the palm of my hand goes here and I'm putting maybe about a pound or two of force. You're not pushing in there very hard, very nice and easy. That allows these muscles to relax and allows us to get an effective treatment on the ligament. So before I even put them in that position, I'll just get that lotion on there to open up. You don't want this, you don't want the client to be in these positions for too long because they are gonna be very provocative and inflaming if there is some inflammation in there. So the lotion's on there. We're going to tuck that chin back like we said. We're gonna drop the head in just like that. Palm is gonna come on just like that. And then basically we're gonna find that C7 and we know we're gonna work all the way up here to the base of the occiput. Same thing with the instrument. So with the instrument, you wanna be effective with it, but you don't wanna get in there and do a lot of damage. So basically you're gonna find your different areas. Here's one of the spinuses, here's there. So what you do is you sink in, back off, pull, some of that and what you're trying to find is where that area of grit and tension is that's usually where that scar tissue is and you can see each time i'm pulling through as i open that up that allows that to open up you're going to start by getting right in the middle here now some other areas you can get is out to the side here i call it the gutter and with that you're going to use the flat part here and you can pick up a lot in there as well because the nuchal ligament is pretty thick so if I'm working that side, I'm gonna bias my body over like that and pull up just like that. And if I wanna get the other side, I'm gonna come over just like that as well and pull up there. And what I'm feeling for is those areas of grit. Each time that I move it, I'm gonna drop that head a little bit more, but I'm being very cautious to make sure I support the head and push that up against the chair. You have to treat this in a chair because it's gonna put a lot of pressure on there. So the setup again, chin tuck here. And if we're working straight on, we're just gonna be in just like that, holding the instrument and going like that. If we're gonna get the lateral part over here, we're gonna bias our body over just like that. And if we're gonna get this medial side towards me, we're gonna bias like that. Now, as we talk about, as the head drops, it's gonna be a gentle drop. You're not gonna force it. As you break down each layer of that scar tissue, it's gonna open up some of that range of motion. So that head's just gonna slightly drop. You're not trying to force it. If you force it, you're actually gonna cause a lot of dysfunction in there and some extra pain for your client. So I hope you got something out of watching those palpation videos or just learn something new and of an underlying problem in cervical spine that gets missed all the time. My goal is really to help people start thinking critically and becoming more of a solutions provider instead of a service provider. So if you like the video, give it a comment, a like, a share. If you got any specific muscles that you want us to cover, send us a message. We're always here to help. And lastly, go grab our free training or even take one of our courses here in 2022. Appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.